hello everyone welcome in cool it help this is the second video tutorial or you can say the second part of the image view video tutorial here we will see the type and the various places where we can put our image and we can load inside the image view so i am covering uh, the five scenarios here so i will describe you how you can load the image if you are putting your image in different places in the your project so we are considering this first scenario here okay so this is the first scenario where we are loading our image from the folder which is at root level so the case one we are putting our image inside the folder which is at root level you can uh, put the name as per your choice there's no mandatory thing that you have to select the name as resources you can rename it to images and other things okay guys notice here that in that case you have to create a image object and to create the image object you have to use this selected code and you can see we are loading the images from a root level so you have to use this slash before the resources that means before the root folder okay and now we are considering the second scenario where we are placing our image inside a folder which is inside the base package so base package is image view image loading and the second folder is inside this that's why you can see image view image loading dot resources folder so resources folder is inside image view image loading folder and inside the resource folder we have our image sample.jpg so the way we have to load this is the way new image get class dot get resource as a stream resources slash sample.jpg there is no forward slash that means it will search the resource folder inside the current directory that means we are inside the image view loading so the folder will be searched here now the third scenario in this scenario if image is inside the base package suppose you have placed the image without any folder just adjacent to the controller file or your java class okay in that case you can directly load your image in, in this image object get class dot get resource as a stream and simply pass the name of this image so that will be referenced directly inside this image view image loading dot java file because this is adjacent to the file okay so no need to give any slash or forward slash only have to give a name of the image now the fourth situation in a case when other package classes want to access the image then what you will do i will suggest put your images inside a folder okay make it as a central repository of the image okay and place this folder at root level you can see the resources folder in this diagram is placed at a root level and we have this image and now the scenario is the first class which is inside the test package image view loading clone.java will access the same image sample.jv jpg and the second package class image view image loading dot java will also access the same okay in that case we will use this line of code get class dot get resource as a stream forward slash resources slash sample dot jpg you guys can change the name of this folder as well there is no mandatory thing okay now the fifth situation you guys have seen we are using get resource as a stream so definitely a question coming in your mind that we can read the images without this method yes we can read this we read images without this but in that case we have to provide a full path of the image i will show you inside the example right now you can see on my screen the image is inside the uh, folder which is at root level and we are going to load this image without get resource as a stream method in that case we have to use the path this is the constructor image and we are passing the path 
now i will uh, implement each case one by one inside the netbeans example and then i will demonstrate you how you can load the image so the first case we are going to discuss where we are loading the image from a root folder okay so the code will be used is written here okay i am taking you inside the netbeans and uh, i'm taking the example in which i have not taken the fxml this is the simple java fx project and we have one class file okay so we are considering the case where we have a folder at root level and we are putting our image inside it okay this is source package <laughs> there's a no mandatory thing about the folder name you can put the folder name anything you want so in our case i am creating the folder images and i will put this image inside this package this folder okay now the first case is ready let me open this this is the case one where we have our image inside a folder which is at root level so the loading of the class will be done in this way we have to use the forward slash before the folder name because this is at root level and we have to use this line of code okay i'm going inside the netbeans to load okay here we will see two kind of way on the fly this is the first way i will show you new image get class dot get resource as a stream and uh, we have to load the image from the folder which is at root level so we are using forward slash folder name slash image name okay i hope this is clear to you the most important thing is line number 30 okay i'm taking a build and i will run this and we will observe the output okay here we go you can see so image is loading successfully we have given this path so first way is uh, by using get resource as a stream and uh, we are loading the image from the root folder and now i'm showing you that another one option in which we are not using get resource as a stream method and we directly want to load the image so in that case we have to give a complete path this way because folder is at root level so the same thing we have to pass here i will show you a difference in the further example so slash forward slash images slash image name okay and this is the image constructor this is also a valid statement and it will work i am taking the build and i will show you here see this so the image is loaded with the help of this image constructor we have prepared the image object and then we have set this in the image view now we going to see uh, the second scenario there uh, in which we have the image inside a folder and the folder is inside the base package okay in that case we have not used the forward slash we have to remove that forward slash and we will simply give the folder name slash file name look at here so this will be the code the right code to load the image okay i will demonstrate you here by setting up the same scenario okay this is our base package and i will create one folder here to put the image so i am creating images folder okay image folder is created okay this is inside the base package or oh, and this is our image and i am pasting this image here okay now i am now i am deleting this image here to avoid the confusion so image is deleted and now our image is present here inside the images folder okay in that case i will show you the both way to load the image 
So the first way with the help of get resource as a stream. In this case, we don't need this forward slash. Simply give the name of folder slash file name because we are telling that we have to look this folder inside the current directory because this is inside the base package and the base package is image view image loading that simple okay and it is ready to load the image we will take a clean build and i will run this file here we go okay image is loaded successfully I will comment this file and I will describe the second way. It's uh, the different thing. We are not using get resource as a stream. In that case, what you have to do? You have to give the complete path. That means the folder inside the base package. So first we have to give the name of base package like this. Image view, image loading, forward slash, images folder. And also we have to put the forward slash. We have to tell this image view loading is also a root folder. Images then image name. Look at here. So we have given the complete path when we are not using get resource as a stream. And this statement will work and it will load the image inside the image object. And then we will set this image object on image view. Here we go. Look at here. This image is loaded successfully. This statement is working fine. I hope you guys getting my point and uh, this concept is clear to you. If you have still any doubts, please comment in the comment section. I will try my best to reply as soon as possible. Now guys, in the same way, we will see the third scenario. Here, we are putting our image inside the base package. Okay, that means we are putting the image uh, just adjacent to the class file, the Java file, which is trying to load this okay so i will create the same scenario in this project i will copy my image and put it here and i will delete this package to avoid the confusion now scenario is created image is present inside the base package and the class file which is referring to the image so i will explain both cases here so in the first case we are using get resource as a stream okay so we have to simply give the file name because file is present just adjacent to the class file okay now we are ready to run this see this so image is loaded properly i'm focusing here here because i want to explain the path uh, problems solution and uh, if you focus on this so you can easily uh, handle your path issues okay if we are not using get resource as a stream in that case we have to give the complete path taking the clean build and this is ready to run here we go and the image is loaded successfully I hope you guys clear on these scenarios. Okay guys, now we'll discuss about the fourth scenario. Here if there's a multiple classes, there are multiple classes want to access the same image. So I will suggest put your images inside a one folder and that folder must be at root level. Then any class can easily access this image or the other images which are present inside this folder and the code will be here and the code is same as we have used for the image loading from the root folder okay so i am showing you the scenario so this is our image 
so I will put this image at root folder to create this scenario and I'm deleting the our image from this place okay and uh, this is the first class in different package and we have one another class which is in different package but this class also trying to load the same image okay so we are uh, following the concept by putting our image in a central location and this folder is created at root level so the simple thing same code will be used in each class file okay so the code will be first i will describe the way where we are taking the get resource as a stream method so this is simple we will use uh, the forward slash and we will give the name of the root folder images then image name okay it's ready to load the image okay now i'm inside the the second class file which also wants to load the same image so we have not to change anything in the path image loading path this will be the same now i'm taking the clean build and i will show you so first i will run this file that will demonstrate you the loading of the image with the given path so this is our first class clone dot java you can see image is loaded successfully okay i hope this is clear to you in the second case we will load uh, the image from this class file and the path will be the same so the benefit of using the uh, this uh, scenario that we have not to change the path in many classes in many places you can see the image loading is successful i hope the fourth scenario is clear to you guys in the fifth scenario uh, guys uh, one question is arises that can we load the images without the get resource as a stream method i would say yes we can load it but in that case you have to give the complete path i suggest to you not to use uh, much uh, this kind of loading because uh, as we have discussed uh, in the fourth scenario this is the best way to put your images in the folder which is at root level so the code will be convenient okay so i am showing you the scenario fifth to load the images we have to give the complete okay because we have our package at root level so we are giving this if we are putting our image inside any base package so you have to give the name of the base package but in this case this is fine we giving the forward slash and uh, we are giving the name of package then file name and uh, you can see the image is loaded inside the image view perfectly so guys we have uh, seen the all scenarios in which we can uh, load the image inside the image view so i hope after watching this you are clear about the giving the path of the images and where you have to place your image that will be clear so guys if you found this video useful please like this video and guys uh, please uh, subscribe our channel and show your appreciation towards us and guys uh, you can press the bell icon and you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help